intended for mature audiences may contain language and content not suitable for younger listeners. And most of that content is coming out of Justin's mouth. I mean, if you're talking, I mean, if you're, you know, you're talking about, you know, starting over, you know, you could be what the Vatican is doing right now. I mean, oh, this is a, this is a touchy one. This is a touchy one. Do it. Okay. Right, I'm, so I'm it. I do, it. before we start, I actually do have someone else here <laughs> um, with me uh, that is kind of an expert on this. So oh, fuck off. hold on one second. Yes. Yeah, guess. Over here. Oh, it's Chapa. It's a me, uh, <laughs> Francis. you to uh, think that the aliens are a Jesus. <laughs> Why the fuck do you have Oh my god. Because I was at a oh fucking god. Goodwill and I saw a fucking Pope Francis bobblehead and you thought I was going to buy that motherfucker? It's so funny that you <laughs> found that shit at a Goodwill. Oh uh, god. I've had, I've like had it for like a year now. Oh my god. I was what expecting a whole person. <laughs> Oh my I God. honestly thought that too. I was like, "Oh, he." I, I was like, sitting in that room because you looked over. I was yeah. like, well, "Who's there?" Yeah, because I'm committed to a bit. Um, you should probably, you point. should probably censor. You should probably censor that for the kids that are watching. Though. Probably, yeah, it's, it's fucking pornography. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, the whole Vatican thing, dude. They're talking about like, well, uh, Tay, what was the date? Oh, it was fucking. Oh, they're doing it on the 17th. So on uh, the 17th what? of May. Yeah. yeah, like three days. From three now. days. Okay, so they're gonna come out and say that like we everybody needs to look out for paranormal activity and shit. Well, like apparitions, it's just like a guideline of like what to do when appar when you see an apparition, which is crazy when they do already do like uh, exorcisms and shit like that. Like the fact that they're doing it now is like they didn't. I mean, they didn't put one out when they did the first like exorcism. So, like, but they they have they come out like, they've actually come out so, and done it before as well. So basically what it is, is it's what the Vatican believes is like a real apparition or a real like, you know, people find like Jesus in a piece of toast or Mary in a piece of toast and stuff. Hmm. And so it's guidelines for like how the church investigates those to figure out if they're actually miracles or not. Can't wait um, to see that shit. So, so like the, la oh, the last shit, time. Twitter is going to go off the chains. Oh, yeah. Um, fucking what is it? Friday, right? The seventeenth yeah. is Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! The god. last time that they oh put out uh, rules for it was nineteen seventy eight. So these are like the updated new rules with the internet and shit, and being I'm like, sorry, oh, rules? Uh, yeah, 19, rules. Wait, you said nineteen seventy eight. Nineteen seventy eight was the last time they came out with them. Oh lord! So, oh my god! Can I just so, say real quick? Oh, never so point hold on. I was just saying the always the always sunny episode. Is in play? Oh, oh my god, stop. I was, I was thinking about play? that too. I was thinking about that too. Hmm. Is that episode in play right now? When Charlie Wait. comes in? Because I'll change. Don't, so I'll put across uh, Young Robin. Uh, Wait, Robin is that the, that's the one where Rickety Cricket comes in first, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a priest. Fun fact about Rickety Cricket his first cousin was my math teacher my senior year of high school. Bullshit. I have a <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, okay. That, yeah, shout out Miss Horns on the bro. episode. Maybe we can get cricket on this episode. Let's oh. let's get some more subscribers first. <laughs> and then let us shut it down, <laughs> Justin. Let us shut it down. Let's we got the Pope money. on, Justin. The Pope yeah, came on the, the show. Pope. You're All welcome. Right? Okay, I'm bringing you Jeez. back down to Earth. How much star power do you need? We got the Pope on the episode. Now you want? Now you want David Hornsby on the episode? <laughs> also, I want to throw it out there. I do want to throw out there, that. I'm fully aware that the actual Pope is from Buenos Aires, um, but I figured there's a far less chance of me getting canceled for doing a terrible Italian accent uh, for it. So just wait. Well, hey, if it was from Buenos Aires, you could have done a <laughs> German accent for all we know. Oh, oh we should talk about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so 
Let's roll it back. Let's bring it back in. Let's bring That's it back in. That's a topic boys. for next week. <laughs> yeah, All right. We're we're so, gonna we're gonna bring that up next week. That's a great one. Thanks, Dave. Um, yeah, of course, of course. The whole Vatican, like this whole conspiracy shit about them coming out saying there's apparitions and like blah 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 blah. It's it's related to something called Project, or it sounds similar to something called Project Bluebeam. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Uh, I just recently heard of it today. I'm not even gonna lie. But it's literally uh, the New World Order's purpose. So it's more population control than anything. So it's the second coming. It's an artificial second coming where they can reel people back into the religion and make more money off of them because people have been falling out of religion recently because we have technology. You know? I mean... So... Yeah, it usually takes me 20 minutes for a second coming. I mean... So I'm just going to read it real fast. 20 seconds, point, man. Point one, 20 to, point one <laughs> is to abolish <laughs> all Christian and traditional religions in order to replace them with a one-world religion based on the cult of man. Not really sure what that means. But. Sounds pretty gay, but... And right, then the other, it does sound a little gay. <laughs> the other one is to abolish all national identities and national pride in order to establish a world identity and a world pride. Sounds kind of racist, but okay. Yeah. But those two theories okay, right. sound very racist. That sounds very racist. racist. And, 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 wait, racist. And, wait, and then you said that he was we, from Buenos Aires, too. Without, our, our I didn't say shit about Buenos Eugenics. Oh. It sounds a lot like eugenics. Yeah. I never yeah. said any of that. Okay. <laughs> Y'all Justin, crazy. we all heard you say. You know oh, we heard no. you loud and clear. You only want. Well, we can we right the tape through, through that mic. Right. <laughs> we'll rewind the tape. I'll listen to you later. Came right out your mouth. <laughs> it did not come out. It came out of all three of your mouths, not mine. Did it though? We were, just, that said it, though. We were just deciphering your sh- code sh- of what you were saying. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> it's just population control coming around again. Hmm. And probably nothing will happen on May 17th. Well, I mean, they're going to talk about whatever, but I mean, there will probably be like another like Diddy video that surfaces, or or Drake or Kendrick's going to drop another like diss track or something. Or Drake's going to like from all of us molest another teenager. Dude, how amazing would it be if five minutes yeah, after the Vatican comes out, fucking Kendrick drops a Vatican diss track? That'd be so fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, that would be awesome, but I don't think that's gonna work out. Speaking of Diddy, did you guys see not Diddy, uh, Drake the video, the TikToks I sent in the chat? <laughs> I've not lyrics? seen them. Mm-hmm. Have oh, you seen the yeah. tattoos on his back? Tay, he has tattooed on his I back. Tay, check him out, bro. Because no, I think no, you're I gonna get a geek it. out of it. I know. I saw them. <laughs> There's a lot that. of tracks of 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 you know Drake, but I don't want to get off topic, but. Uh, we're at the end of the show. Fuck get it. us, get a, get us. You know, if you have time, check out the TikTok TikToks I said Whoa. about Drake's lyrics. <laughs> TikToks, TikToks. It's a little, uh, it's a little funky donkey. I'll tell you that. So yeah, everything about Drake is a little funky. Yeah, ex- yeah, absolutely. I'll say it. Unpopular opinion. Fuck Drake. Fuck Drake. Mm. Team Kendrick. Uh, honestly, I don't. Drake. Honestly, team <laughs> yo, don't, team, don't, team Big X the plug right now. If you guys haven't heard him yet, he's Big the fucking X the man. Plug? Oh, dude, he is the Can man. You say that one more time, please. You, you like Big how X he's trying plug. to like dis like divert the Who conversation the right now? <laughs> yo, listen to him. I'm telling you, you'll fuck with him. He's he's tight. Oh, that's like all I've been listening he's trying to. to he's tr- he's trying to. He's trying. He's coming Ross off. He's coming off Drake right now. He's coming off. Drake. he's good. That's why. I, I just don't care about. But also, I gotta be team. I gotta be team on. mixed dude right now, so can't be. No, I'm team Drake and J Cole. Ooh. Gotta stay with my mixed brothers. Ugh. I didn't know you were Canadian. Well, J Cole dropped out of that little race, <laughs> but so I guess you're just team. What about it, Drake? Now. <laughs> <laughs> what about it? <laughs> we talking about? <laughs> we talking about? <laughs> Give your balls a tug, tick fucker. <laughs> so, going back to what we were actually talking about, why did the like the Vatican actually decide? Is there a backstory behind this? Like, why all of a sudden? Like, is this in the works, or is this you know like I have no uh, idea. It came so, out so the that's, well, not really. So, the big thing about it is they've seen a huge uptick with social media on. So, so like, scared. what 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 the actual thing is is it's. 
basically the Catholic Church coming out and saying, like, before we declare that something actually is a, you know, apparition or, um, you know, like a saintly miracle or anything, this is the criteria it has to reach, right? And mm -hmm. so with all of social media and everything now where it used to be like, oh, some lady found, you know, Jesus on her toast or someone has this crying Mary statue, what they would do is they would have local bishops go investigate it and they had like criteria that they would investigate. And if then that stuff what is the criteria? passed, that's um, what they're so going to tell it, us it, on the 15th. Yeah. So that's, that's okay, what the criteria so was. The, 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 the criteria for the 70, like when it was 1978. So it was like making sure that the person was not trying to profit from it um, in any way, uh, making sure that the person was like a person of good faith and not like ill repute. Um, so it wasn't like a con artist or anything. Um, How do you uh, the, liars, the good liars are best liars. So, I mean, you know. But it was it was like all stuff to like just kind of investigate it at a surface level for it. And then if the local bishops found that that stuff was all good, then there was levels for like, you know, your archbishops to come in and investigate it. And if that was good, then the Vatican would send an actual has, investigator to come do it. Ha, has there been a case like recently that has gone like escalated? I mean, there's a bunch or of stuff for it. Because like, so like, obviously, so, it's it's like rules. You know, the rules happen because it happened. It sounds like yeah. every exorcist movie ever. So no, so it's 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 more stuff like of good, like it's more for investigating things of good faith, right? So like in the Catholic Church to become a saint, you have to perform three miracles for it, right? So I think the last person they made a saint was like Mother Teresa. So they go and they investigate these claims of things to make sure that they're actually like classified as miracles before they can actually turn someone into a saint on it, right? What is the so, criteria of a saint, though? So now I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm trying to get into the deep end of this shit, like right now. So you have to you have to perform three miracles. You have to like to be a saint. You have to per have performed three miracles. But do they define what a miracle is? So that it's all up into interpretation of the church. Yeah, um, ah, so that's where we come back to that comes down to one, you know, one kind of like consensus. Like, uh, yeah, so, it, you know, it falls the, under it's this. The if church, it it's the church's rules yeah. about yeah, what I the know. church like decrees Thinks as something. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's like, I mean, that's like that having. I, I, I perform miracles all day, baby. Like, if you Shut really want to know what I do, you're like, not part of the church, so it has nothing to do with. <laughs> you're not part, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can't but, be insane. So <laughs> that's the thing. That's like I can't, I can't win, I can't win employee of the month. At your job, because I don't work there. Yeah. That's a really good analogy. That, that, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Like, you fucking nailed it. So Mother Teresa's mar uh, three miracles were um, the healing of Monica Bessra, who had a swelling caused by an accumulation of fluid and tissue 16 centimeters about above her abdomen. Um, Mother Teresa went and saw her, and without medical help, it was cured. Her so second they define what medical help means. Um, she had a bruise. That okay, so one day Monica like. went. Yeah, a bruise, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a bruise. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> actually, like... sorry, sorry. Even even better. Um, or a pimple. Okay, here you go. Get a boo boo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this word for word. Like yeah, ingrown hair. Like I mean, the healing of Monica out. Besra. Um, the Monica healing of Besra. Monica Besra in Bengali, India, was the first miracle that led to Mother Teresa's uh, beautification. Monica had a tumefaction, a swelling caused by the accumulation of fluid in the tissue about 16 centimeters, 16 centimeters in her abdomen. Monica sought Isn't medical help, but because she had been sick with tuberculosis prior to the tumor, she was found too weak to operate on. Monica went to mass one day and had a, uh, saw a ray of light emanating from a picture of Mother Teresa. Um, one of the uh, missionary of charity was. sisters took, uh, the, took a medal of the Virgin Mary and tied it around Monica's swollen abdomen um, blah blah blah. About eight hours later, Monica's tumor had completely disappeared. Eleven doctors, only two of whom were Catholic, examined Monica's case and came to the conclusion that there was no medical explanation as to how the tumor disappeared. So, wait, wait, you said the doctors were Catholic? Two of the two, two of, of the them. eleven doctors were Catholic. So, what was the her second miracle? What was the, what was the diag like diagnosis? Uh, okay, go ahead. Sorry. What was the miracle? I feel like we got to talk about this one later on because I mean we got to be very careful about the that. miracle was that she had a tumor that doctors couldn't operate on because she was too weak for operation. She that went is... to the she went to the church. 
the church fucking a ray of light came out of Mother Teresa's Wait. picture. They put a medal on it, and eight hours later, the tumor was completely gone. You said it was a fluid buildup, not a tumor. Could it have been? Yeah, you know, actually, never mind. Never mind. I don't know. I, I, I hate to tell you guys this, but I don't work for the Catholic Church. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not. <laughs> I hate to tell you guys this. Yeah, I don't know if you know. I had no idea, bro. Um, I thought you were going to bring a kid out. Let me ask my friend. Oh, no, it was totally a miracle. Uh, Yeah, no, it was a tumor, and now it was not a tumor. So uh, good job. You should should get uh, a little child bobblehead. To put that's, like right under his hand. That's right. Oh, that's, 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 all right. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> uh, last so, thoughts, boys? Hold on, hold on. We got two more miracles. Oh, so Mother not, Teresa's. We're not, we're, not, uh, uh, we're not done yet. Jesus, Mother Teresa's second done. miracle. Kind of hoping we were. Um, <laughs> was the healing of uh, Marcelo Andreo. Um, had an, he had an infection in his brain that led to multiple brain absent uh, um, abscesses. But uh, uh, his wife would. Um, so he had a concussion. Is no, he had an infection in his brain. Um, so but his wife would often place a relic of Mother Teresa on her husband's head. Um, how do you know? How how was it? Um, we don't want to go ahead. Sorry. Just let him. Yeah, when, is, was this this? Is when was this? When was this? This is in uh, this December is, 9, thousand eight. No, this is um, 2008. Okay. 2008. So they had, so they had modern, the technology is- to know. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, so uh, um, he woke up in incredible pain and slipped into a coma. Though he was near death, they took him to the hospital to drain fluid from his head as the last attempt to save his life. The doctor who was to operate left the operating room to seek assistance from another doctor. <laughs> when he returned, Marsilio was awake and in no pain. He asked the doctor, what am I doing here? Um, 14 hours after he'd fallen into the coma. Uh, he then had two brain scans um, that day and four days later. Multiple surgeons looked at the brain scans, but none of them could find an explanation as to how uh, Marcelo healed so quickly. Okay. Maybe his wife was just super annoying and he just What's fell asleep the until one? then. And then he <laughs> got into the operating room and where his wife was and they're like, all right, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Apparently you only need two miracles, not three miracles to become a saint. I apologize. So that was it? Okay. So anything unexplainable is a miracle? Yes. That would literally be what a miracle is. I mean, so <laughs> um, I, it's like so the so definition of a miracle. Yeah, literally so let me, hold on. When I, sh- when I shart, is that a miracle? Uh, <laughs> no. No, that's because you have a loose <laughs> asshole. <laughs> no, that hey, just means I'm not you need the one to in eat this better. Group that has actually shit his pants, all right? So you guys got to figure that out. That might be a miracle. You don't know yeah. that. You don't True. know that. We don't. We don't know. If you shit fart and a little comes pants. out, shit, you all pants. I don't know what happened. Yo, wait, wait, hold on. Weren't we supposed to give you those uh, sugar-free gummies? Oh yeah. Days, and you're supposed to do the whole podcast. Get a bag of them. Yeah. Oh the. Oh yeah. What? What was Nick? That was your thing, right? What was it like? Okay. Six of the you know what? Bears? I'll, I'll do it. I'll right buy right I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I already have I Amazon open right now. Let's like, buy them right now. Send them to my address. I don't know if it's six or not, but I will send you the gummies that yeah, eat the whole bag. The works. No, I'm not eating the whole goddamn bag. I'll I'm send you like so a mini bag. Up, How... bro, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. It'll be a miracle if I fucking survive. We'll call. Well, yeah, no, exactly. That's perfect. We'll figure, no, yeah. that's perfect for exactly. you. Exactly. We'll eating the whole figure bag. it out there. Because if you get blocked up, you're gonna be trying to shit yourself. You can't do that. Hell, I am not spending money. money. I can't shit myself. I might be able to shit myself. I'm not myself, spending so money help because me. y'all made me constipated. Justin, I understand you're scared, but I promise the gummy bears aren't too spicy. They just have some flavor in there, <laughs> not any spice. I promise it's just flavor, not season. Yeah. All right. You know what? <laughs> that joke is old retired. I don't think it is, man. No, it's I retired. don't think that's going anywhere. I got Making a full fucking cabinet of spices, bitch. It's because your girlfriend came in there and decorated your No, it's your because I bought, <laughs> I bought them. I bought them. No. I bought them. Anyway, to uh, impress you your girlfriend. Like we'll, we'll, how many? We'll you uh, this one. Like, I feel like you say you have a bolt. Are they called Harboro? Harboro? Har- yeah, Harbo well, no, gummies. Harbo. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't know what yeah. of them. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll spend the money for you. Don't worry about that. They cost like fucking three dollars, bro. <laughs> like, I see them at the gas about- station all the I'll time. I'll give you a dollar. You, you just need to look up how many you we- can eat. What the fuck was the point of that? Okay. <laughs> I don't remember, but it. it we were talking about shitting shit ourselves at some point. Yeah. But- yeah, and I'm then the you eat the sugar-free one ones and fucking blow your uh, yeah. fucking back of your pants out. I just have to make sure I don't have to work the next day. 
It's been great hanging out with you guys. Peace, love. Say thank you every once in a while. Dress the baby boy. Cue the damn music. We out, motherfucker.